Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm doing this video real quick for all the people who are jailbroken out there and you're looking for some uh, good stuff to put on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, this is just some of the stuff that I've uh, downloaded and installed recently that I find very uh, helpful and uh, useful. So, I made a little list of them here. So, the first one is the five icon dock which you can see here many of you may know about this already but yeah it lets you add another icon to your uh, springboard um, also I think you can go up to like eight icons or something like that but I think that's a bit too uh, excessive and I think five is a nice limit to have it keeps everything in order I think when you go up to eight it starts to overlap the icons so I prefer five it's, that's enough for me next is orbit these are all found in Cydia or rock I'm not sure about icy most likely they are in icy orbit is pretty much like a expose if you have a Mac or know about the Mac um, operating system it's like you can just push that button and you can see a layout of all your pages of apps and then you can just click uh, whichever page you want and it goes straight to that app I mean that uh, page so very simple if you have a lot of pages and a lot of apps it's very useful and um, they're actually working on a newer version version 2 which will support pinching and uh, like when you zoom out of a page on your springboard like so it will actually go into the zoom out zoom out mode like this instead of like having to push the button or the icon so moving on next is inspell and you can actually see an example of it right here you see the little red line under some of the words and uh, basically it's a text editor or a spell check that's the word I'm looking for spell check so let's say we want to type in quick I guess we'll try Q U I K and you see that it has uh, the red line under it so what we're going to do is select it and then you see it says correct and it's going to come up and give you all the different um, options of what you can use to change that word so we're gonna like I said use quick and then it corrects it and this is done because it also download when you download inspell from Cydia it also downloads a dictionary where that's that's how it uses all the different finds all the different words and some other stuff it's not a big file. None of these are big files, so don't worry about it taking up memory on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You'll hardly notice any difference. Um, let's see. Next, we have Backgrounder, and that here you can see. Oops, you can see the icons right there. Those little badges. Those are for all my apps that are being backgrounded right now. So basically, Backgrounder lets you run programs or apps in the background. So, for example, Cydia, let me zoom out a little bit, Cydia, I have it running in the background, so I can just click it and load straight up uh, very quickly, and it takes me to where I left off, so that's a very um, useful addition. Also, if you, pl if you play games that have pause menus, you can, uh, and you get a text message, you can... Um, pause the game, back, run it in the background, go reply to your text message, come back and unpause the game and continue where you left off instead of closing the app and then coming back in, restarting from scratch, so on and so forth. And that's easily, backgrounding is easily done. All you do is, uh, let's see, we're going to, let's do the app store. I have the app store open all I do is hold the home button and you'll see a pop-up backgrounding enabled and then it'll go back to your home screen like so and you'll get the little badge you open it back up 
and you're back to where you left off. And then to disable it, you just hold the home screen. I mean, hold the home button again. Backgrounding disabled takes you closes the app, takes you back to the home screen, and it's gone. Easy as that. So next, uh, we have SMS background. This is something that I really like. Um, what you want to do, basically, it gives you um, some settings. This also comes with reflective dock, so if I want to, I can turn that on. Go back to the home screen, and you'll see reflective dock down at the bottom. And But I don't really like that. Uh, so I'm going to go back in, turn that off. Now if you go to your wallpapers, my camera roll, and I'll just open this image. This is a LRG symbol, one of my favorite brands. And you'll see these two icons, the information icons. If you click the left one, it sets your uh, SMS background image. So I'm going to show you what exactly I mean by that. I'm going to cover this for a second. And... Go to new. And you'll see there that my background, my SMS has a the background image now. Okay, so next we have SB settings, which is very, very useful. Instead of if you if you want to use Wi-Fi, you usually go into settings. And then you go to Wi-Fi, then select your network and all that good stuff. Or if you want to change the brightness, you have to go into the settings. Um, but basically, SB settings makes this a lot easier for you. All you do is install it from Cydia. Then you swipe your finger across the um, status bar at the top. And you'll see a drop-down menu where you can... Um, do several things such as the brightness right there very quick and easy I'll show you that it works and uh, let's see what else you can respring your phone um, instead of powering it down and back on if you're like um, installing stuff from Cydia sometimes it takes a respring for it to work um, Let's see what else, different processes it shows that are running, so I can go in and I can uh, end the process if I wanted to. You can free up some memory right there. Uh, what else do we have? SSH toggle, you got your 3G service toggle, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and then you can go into the settings and select different, a uh, wide range of different toggles to make your um a whole experience easier and quicker with iPhone or iPod touch so lastly we have 3G unrestrictor basically what it does is allows you to make your apps think that it's on a Wi-Fi network even though you're on edge or 3G this can be used for any app but I only use it for um YouTube, what it does is it allows you to view your videos in high quality as if you were on Wi-Fi, like if you're out driving on the road, taking a road trip or something. So, and you can also use it in the App Store if you're trying to update an app that's more than 10 megabytes. Usually you can only do it on Wi-Fi, but with this you can do it on 3G or Edge. Um, you can also use it with the Slingbox um, app to watch your uh, TV or whatever Slingbox is used for. I think live TV, whatever. You can watch that on the go without being at a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can watch it over 3G. I'm going to en enable 3G unrestrictor for YouTube. Edit, add. I'm just going to search. YouTube. Done. Back to the home screen, back to YouTube, and I hope this is able to catch the clarity, the difference. I'm just going to skip ahead.
that's what's on my iPhone as far as jailbreaking and Cydia goes. Um, I highly suggest downloading all of these if you want to optimize your iPhone's performance and uh, the overall experience with the iPhone or iPod Touch. So, till next time, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Peace.